Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Brotato. We are doing viewer suggested builds from the comments. Today's is from Binny B. We are going all in on the quote unquote old guy, focusing on elemental builds here, which is a very flexible build, which I'm I'm all for for early on in this mini series or series here. Uh, comment down below if you have a build that you want to see me do. Be specific, be not specific. Whatever you do, just make it so it's an interesting, fun run, and we'll see what we can do if other people like it. Uh, so what to start with? I mean, the logical idea is probably to start with the torch. Like, I think that's the default thought, because that's was kind of the only way to make it work before. But now we have different options. We have a ranged burning weapon for one we also have the lightning shiv which is a potentially interesting thing as well we don't have to rely on getting burning upgrades i think for one let's start with the wand let's go with that first we have minus ranged and melee damage minus one armor so we basically have terrible defensive and base damage stats but we are going to be relying on burn more or less here attacks have a 25 percent chance to deal nine times three burning damage burn does spread to nearby enemies and we have plus eight elemental damage. So that's going to be what we're going in here with today. Should be not too bad. I This character used to suck. <laughs> so, and by that, I mean, it was very tough to get them to work in the prior form of the demo because it, you kind of needed a lot of stars to align. And I'm not sure if that's going to be... I missed the tree. Uh, not sure if that's going to be the same in this situation. Do I want to go with percentage damage up? Is it relevant? Do I care? Are we going to be able to dig ourselves out of this hole, or do we only rely on the elemental damage? I think we only rely on the elemental. I think that might be the case. Uh, I'm going to also rectify our armor penalty. We'll take the lightning shiv here, because that will give us the elemental damage bonus of a plus one elemental damage, because we have two elemental weapons. And then, I, you know, let's reroll. Oh my god, wait. Okay, hit me with this, hit me with a lock. We'll go with that. We'll get boiling water next time. It'll reduce our max HP by one, but I think it's going to be worth it, right? Uh, two elemental damage will make a world of difference right now. So we are doing plus two elemental damage because we have the set of three. We've got variety too. We we're, we kind of got our finger in all of the elemental pies, so to speak. We got a little bit of melee, a little bit of melee direct, a little bit of melee bounce, a little bit of melee damage over time, a little bit of range damage over time. We got everything but ranged kind of like sustained uh, direct damage rather. Like we do, I imagine we do lots of damage. The issue is it doesn't happen right away. That's kind of the big thing that we're probably going to have to deal with today is that our damage is not immediate. It is not immediate damage. Your attacks have a percent chance to heal. It doesn't matter how much damage they do. I would rather go for speed. I would rather go for speed. Oh! It was fixed to fill in the empty slot. Oh, the quality of life of that. There, I guess there was a patch. That used to be like when you locked it. It would not fill in the empty slot, which... I honestly thought was on purpose. Like, I thought that uh, that was just the way it was because there's a lot of like it seems like the game is sort of inspired by some of the systems of auto chess games and there's a lot of auto chess games that just don't fill in that slot for you that's kind of just part of it if you're locking that's part of the risk that you're taking uh but i'll admit i prefer it this way especially when it's so hard to get a build going in this game already there is a like the more items you're going to add the harder it's going to be to get the tools that you need oh my god Man, that direct lack of direct damage. We either go for the armor here or we uh, re reroll. Uh, absolutely. I will take the flat 6 HP there. Dodge or range? I'll take range. One reroll and see what we go with. We could go for primitive. We could get the uh, a 5 HP bonus if we do that. Bonus piercing damage. It does not give us piercing. It just gives us piercing damage. If I buy the stick, I get 5 HP, basically, because of the primitive bonus. If I buy the blade, what do I get? I get crit chance? Does that apply? You know, whatever. Let's just let's just get items. I know that they're not going to be that useful for us right now. They should, at the very least, help us, like, push back enemies a little bit. Yeah, not, not a ton, but it does a little bit for us. It does a bit. I'm curious about our crits. Like, can we crit with burn? 
I kind of want to just focus in on that concept for a sec. See if I ever hear a crit happen on an enemy that is not near us. Like, I'm seeing those crits happen on that four damage, but like, uh, I mean, who cares? <laughs> I, like, I don't... I'm not really caring about a crit on my one damage attacks. Those don't bother me whatsoever. I'll tell you, my early, uh, my early presumption here is that our elemental damage cannot crit. So I think that we need to, uh, need to just go ahead and say we don't care about that. I'll take 2% lifesteal. Elemental damage, melee damage, harvesting down. I mean, it's, it's not going to remove elemental damage from us, right? Like, or, uh, not going to remove. You actually, it, you can go negative in harvesting. It actually does. Oh my god. Okay, give me another stick. We will pivot out of sticks, but for now we might as well. It will increase. I mean, will it even increase the damage though? Is it going to increase it enough so that it does more than one? Not even. I'm really taking them as HP stat sticks right now. That's really all they are for. Just to, just to do a little bit. A little bit more in the health department. A little bit more survivability. But we are not getting a lot of the tools that we need to really make this happen. We're going to be looking for a couple key things. Oh my god. We want to make sure, if we see it, that we can pick up... Come on, hit the tree. Hit the tree. Hit the tree with the fire. There we go. Uh, burn damages enemies twice as fast. That would be a huge benefit for us. Really important to get. Oh man, we need to get in there and get all that stuff. But it's so scary. So sketchy. We don't have the immediate ability to, like, get in and uh, and wreck. It might be okay to go for, like, the uh, the palm. You know, just to get a, a knockback tool. Absolutely. Speed up. 12% speed up. Absolutely. Luck. Harvesting. I mean, I can't believe we actually do get minus two materials every time. I'm going to go with luck. I'm going to go with luck and hope. Uh, projectiles will pierce through an additional target. That's really huge. I, I want to ideally get a bunch of wands, but that's not happening right now. Taser does elemental damage. That's going to be worth. Let's go ahead and um, combine the stick for now. And then uh, buy the taser. So yeah, that's that's doing pretty good damage. That scales, it scales entirely off of elemental. So it's doing 19. The taser, normally a complete support item, uh, is being absolutely buffed up to high hell. 12% damage. Does that... Okay. Science time. Science time. We need to know this for the whole episode here. It impacts that. 19... I don't know if it impacts our elemental damage or not. So base damage does apply. Base damage is relevant. Base damage is relevant... Melee and ranged is seemingly not. Good to know. How much damage are we doing with the burn over time here as well? Suing 19. I feel like that might have gotten upgraded. I feel like it did. Big if true, big if true. I'm like the biggest surprise right here is just how destructive the taser is. It's not only a very good slow down and support tool, but it is, it's doing all right DPS too. It's kind of acting as our, um, our direct damage, which is not the purpose I was assuming it was going to serve today. Build is immediately like taking a, a sharp turn here. When we added the taser, there's been a noticeable improvement in like the amount of room we have to breathe. Uh, projectiles pierce their additional target? Yeah. So now we know we can take a just raw damage up, but I'm going to see if I can get something better. Like, yeah, I'll take the attack speed. Uh, fine. I'll take dodge. Minus range, we have, uh, plus 15%. I'm going to say no, not right now. 15% chance to deal one damage to a random enemy. I mean, it gives us re reduced elemental. There's our wand again, finally. Uh, I don't really care about the crit chance. Let's recycle that. Let's take a second wand. I'm not going to go for uh, for combining them yet. That's our HP regen. Okay. 
I'm, I'm willing to take that trade right now. I'm willing to take that too. I, I, the, I think the ugly tooth will actually be nice. We have pretty good speed. I think just being able to slow down enemies so we can try and corral them is actually going to be quite good. I think that might be a pivotal item in making a burn build happen. Again, the pivotal item that we are looking for more than anything is definitely going to be... Um, <laughs> burn deals damage twice as fast. That being said, just a bunch of tasers might do the job too. We are actually destroying. Like, this is... This is going quite well right now. Wave 7 is fine though. Like, wave 10 is when we really... Really start to feel some pain. But I will say, Wizard so far feeling quite good. The old guy. Oh my. Oh my. Yeah, this is like wildly, wildly easy for, uh, for Wave 7. Shockingly so. I'll take 24 luck. And I will go for a damage up. What's my dodge at? Dodge is at 6%. I'll take that. 20% extra damage, one armor. Minus 2% damage until the end of the wave when you take damage. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, it's time to recycle the stick. We will go for the one. We're not going to start combining until we really need to. I'm locking here. I'm going to buy this dang triangle of power. I don't care, man. I'm buying the dang triangle. Oh, boy. And we're going to need to not take damage. But the thing is, if you have a lot of damage output... It's a lot easier for you to not take damage. Things are going to die before they get to you. You don't have to worry about it as much. You don't have to do as much dodging. If you kill enemies before they get to you, you don't have to think about dodging. It's just that easy, baby. We are... Oh, my God. We have a... I thought... We have 3% dodge, I thought. Didn't I take the downgrade? 3% dodge, luck god. Absolute luck, God. I'm liking how fast we are shredding the big boys. That's working quite well. Working quite well, quite well. Oh! Alright, we almost beefed it there. Almost beefed it right at the end. Get that health. Oh, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Alright, crit damage, HP regen, lifesteal. I'm going to say no to those. Oh, elemental damage, but... 45 range is so hard to say no to. I think we have to take the 45 range. I'll tell you what. Triangle of power. Locking for the glass cannon also. We are going all in. This taser is going to be disgusting. Attack speed is going to be an important tool for us to, uh, to get. As much as I can, you know, make that happen. Attack speed or otherwise just like spreading and quicker, quicker kills. Like we already do enough damage to get kills pretty routinely and easily. Oh my god. But just being a little bit more reliable with how fast we can do it is currently our, our bottleneck. I want that thing. I don't, I want it, man. I want that. Oh my god, those almost spawned on me. Oh my god, those almost spawned on me. Everything is dying before it has a chance. What the hell? We are disgustingly strong, and I didn't even take the glass cannon yet. What the hell? Burning deals damage twice as fast, minus 12 range. Uh, burning spreads to the nearby enemy. Great. Uh... Let's go, stupid. Okay, I'll take some flat. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yes. And also, do I just combine this, or do I... Do I combine, or do I ditch the lightning shiv? I think we can maybe ditch the lightning shiv for an additional torch. God, I want to start combining things so bad. Thank you. One bullet dealing one damage is fired from each enemy corpse when they die. I mean, I'm going to take another glass cannon. All right, so we did get a little bit of a range penalty. That's like the big concern here. I'd like to try and fix that up. But the burn is going twice as quick. 
That's why I wanted to ditch the lightning shiv is because we did find another torch there. It felt like a no-brainer to... Uh, uh, whoop. Felt like a no-brainer to switch to another burn item with how much burn upgrades we just picked up. Yeah, the burn is 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 ripping. Ripping through them now. This is wave 10. Kind of where I usually start to notice some problems start to creep up. And boy, am I noticing some problems start to creep up. Things are dying fast. Don't get me wrong. But they are also closing in like crazy. I think the, en the enemies must be getting like speed ups, right? Like, oh god, there's so much I can't get in the middle. Yikes. Yikes. Speed minus range. No harvesting melee damage. I guess why not? Plus three elemental damage. Sure. Glass cannon. <laughs> Double glass cannon. Why not? Forty-one. Okay, it sure as hell seems like elemental damage is being applied here uh, to that as well, as it should. Okay, those guys. Oh, those guys have a lot of health and they do regen. So the fact that they are dying so quick to the burning is really nice. A lot of times these waves that introduce new styles of enemies are typically uh, typically a little bit easier if you can handle those specific enemies. They throw less at you on average. We will see if that is the case. Ooh, bad movement there. I would imagine that these guys normally, like, if, if you have a build that's not, like, a really good burn over time build, I bet you they are going to be a problem. Oh, my God. Yeah, we had that. Had the pivot on out there. God, there's so much stuff in the middle I want to pick up. There we go. Okay, we risked it for a biscuit for a moment there. Oh, just, just live. Just live. Just live. He says as he runs right into the middle. Uh, six max HP, two HP regen, minus 15 luck. Um, sure. We're, we're getting further throughout here. Absolutely attack speed on that one. Absolutely a wand. We're going to uh, we're going to combine and then get this wand there. So we, we can't combine that one right now. Don't want to take the range down. 10% chance to deal 11 damage to a random enemy when an enemy dies. I will take that. I will just take that. I'll do one more reroll. Flamethrower is elemental. We lock it. We take it. We lock it. We take it. We combine. Uh, we combine our wands. Projectiles bounce to an, a random enemy. Is that good for us? I think it might be. How does that work with piercing? It might be terrible, actually. It genuinely might be really, really bad. We don't have a standstill kill build, but that makes sense. A damage over time focus run, I don't think is gonna really hit a standstill kill build territory very often, very frequently, very easily. Oh my. Okay. Took a hit, and boy, do it hurt! Oh my god. Okay, that guy's taking forever to die. Alright. If we don't hit them with the burn, we are... Oh my god, we're probably gonna die here, actually. Unless we find a moment to breathe. We need a we need a way out. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. I want to make sure we get the experience here. This wave is lasting for what feels like forever. Things are closing in like mad, dude. I'm going to go down, I think, right here if I can't. Oh, my God. Please? Free me? Why is there... What the hell? What? Is wave 12, 12 the final wave? Is wave 12 the final wave or is it wave 15? I can't recall. Because, boy, do I hope it's 12. Because otherwise, that is disgusting. All right, so what do we do here? We could try and go for the lightning shiv. I, I know we have like the burn built in and everything here, but let's, okay. Ironically, <laughs> the shiv cannot really kill the unit that it is hitting. It does a good job of hitting everything else. 
I can't remember if 12 is the final wave or if it's 15. Don't recall. I hope it's 12 because then that was obviously doable, winnable, possible. We start with luck. We definitely go for an extra shiv. We'll take the damage that, uh, the damage up for the HP down. This early on, I'll just say sure. I don't care about the crits. We go from dealing one damage to dealing one damage and stop. Wait! That crit... Can lightning shiv? Elemental crit? Because the burn definitely did not seem like it could. This... This can crit. Alright, that opens up an interesting different possibility. We can go... We can care about crits. My god. HP regen. LOL. Take another lightning shiv. Just triple shiv. I mean, I'll, I'll lock this too. These are all elemental weapons. That was a lucky find right there. Okay, so the good news about the lightning is it tracks down somebody no matter where they are, it seems. Seems like we don't have to... Uh... Oh my god. The fact that we have no immediate kills in front of us, though, that's problematic. The amount of effort to kill anything that's chasing us down is too high. We're going to need a get off me tool. If we were to if we were to tunnel vision this, we would need a we maybe need to take a whole slot to just get the palm. Just for just for knockback. Also not to mention the kills that we get are like a million miles away from us. It's going to be super hard to uh, pick up all of the goods we need. Let's do it. Daily, it's just not it's not worth it to dig ourselves out of that hole. Yeah, I'm gonna fix that problem that we just made ourselves. Boom boom. Are we locked? Nope. Oh, okay, good. Taser, taser would be another helpful thing uh, for just well, a it's just really good. Taser's just a great a great tool for us to have. It's better than a a pistol on a normal character right now. I mean, unless we were tunneling. Yeah, whatever. You know what I'm saying. Try and make it work, man. These shivs are fun, though. I, I like them. And it also opens up the possibility of doing kind of like a, uh, a build where we really can focus on magic damage and melee. Like, I don't know how many items are in the game that are like that. But... I don't know. Some, sometimes that's just what happens. You know, like you... Maybe a fun day would just be, like, take every rare thing that shows up early on. Like, take every epic. Uh, max HP, bonus damage, more enemies. I will take it just because it's early. That means more experience means more strength for us. I'll take attack speed. I will take another lightning shiv. And I will take fuel tank every day of my life. And I will lock. And by that, I mean I'm going to reroll. Uh, it's okay. We got boiling water. That's the one I meant. So we actually don't really have a whole lot of burn. We have the base burn that this character gets just at a default. I would imagine Taser can, can crit, right? Yeah, Taser can crit. My god. These knives are darn good. Again, we just need something to uh, to stop what's right in front of us. Because they're doing great damage to everything in the back line. I wonder if we get, like, bounce projectiles, if that would apply, or what. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is nice. This is, this is nice. This is clean. I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to judge, like, what's the better elemental path for this character, burn or zap. Obviously, you have more burn built in. Oh, that's so much. Right away. Hey, yeah, great. Absolutely. I'm going to go with damage. You know what? Let's go crit chance. Let's do it. Elemental damage. Heavy. Another lightning shiv. I'm going silly, dude. 
I'm going silly style. How many rounds until that... How many rounds until this pays for itself? That's the thing. 25 is four rounds before you turn a profit from Wheelbarrow. This is a bad item. It's minus one armor, and it would be wave 10 before we even get 10, 10 material profit. No, it's because you get experience as well. You get the experience as well. I still don't think we go for it. Bean teacher? Excuse me? I mean, that just seems incredible. The downside is that you don't get lifesteal, but I don't think I have lifesteal anyways, man. Oh, these crits are coming fast and loose now, too. Elemental crit build? Hello? I'm a lightning god? I'm like Raiden, man. That being said, we still have a slight issue with what is immediately in front of us. I'm very curious how bouncing projectiles would end up working out for us. Oop. Oh, oh no, get the health. That was not good. We have terrible HP regen. Also, I'm, I'm, yeah. That thing I said where we have no get off me tools, it is started to bite me in the butt big time. Chance to heal when picking material? Yes. Um, at this point, I think some flat armor sounds great. Nine max HP just makes too big of a difference. Alright. God, we have all commons. It's for the set bonus. But, like... At some point, man. It's gonna be... It's gonna be rough. But the extra movement speed would have been good. I don't know. I just... Like, I'm happy to not take hits as bad. So maybe we can, like, scoot on through. Got that level up. Got so much... Okay, we burned through our times two multiplier goods, which is nice. Means there's nothing wasted there. I... You know what? I, I just really need another taser. I need another taser, and I would combine... I would combine my daggers... So I could have two direct damage attacks. That would be just really nice right now. We don't have any, like, immediate get-off-me tools. Okay. That's a lot left over. Burning spreads? Sure, I'll take the penalty for that. Uh, What's our crit chance at? 28%. 12% is so nice, but the speed, I think, is, is hard to pass up. It's raw damage, yes. Fine. Lightning shiv. Interesting. Primitive torch. Fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's not quite the get off me tool that I want. But it should help us prioritize. Uh, I mean, the burn will kill them quicker than like us randomly hoping and getting a, uh, a random shot to bounce back to them from somebody else. Oh, that was a terrible dodge. Like, like top 10 worst dodges in Broteo history. That, okay. Sorry, actually, this is the whole compilation video right here. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is not as good as the other build right now. As of right now, it's not. It's arguably more fun. 
I want that stuff so bad. But, like, getting in to pick stuff up, nightmarish. Nightmarish with this build. Like, that's one thing Melee is very good at. Chance to double the value of picked up materials. 12, look. Minus 4% damage, sure. I don't want that. Yes. Yes. I don't know that I want more enemies right now. Uh, bonus damage while standing still. Ooh. Upgraded ones. I'll take it. Another lightning ship. I'll take it. There we go. Crit damage. Oh, my. Energy bracelet is our muse right now. Energy bracelet is our muse today. That is exactly what we want to see a thousand of. Uh, that being said, we are reducing the amount of shivs we have. So we're reducing the amount of things that truly are probably going to benefit from said crit. But I'd like to hopefully get more. Like, if I get another shiv, if I get a blue shiv to show up, I mean, this is wishful thinking, thinking I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna die here today. Wave 9. Feels like wave 9, wave 10 is, unless we get a major upgrade, is probably, probably where this bad boy caps out. We just have so much issue with things in our immediate vicinity. Which, again, was, that was the issue we had with the last build to an extent as well. That's terrible. Oh my god, the armor is making a world of difference, though. Okay. That armor making an absolute world of difference. Okay. Alright, I tunneled a bit to get that stuff. I'm happy I did. Uh, range could be good. Attack speed it will help us with the get-off-me tools. So will that, to an extent. Plus one material when killing an enemy with a critical hit huge we might heal when we get that so it's huge flamethrower that seems big it's a very close range situation too i can't do anything with the one unless i want to ditch something like the taser i don't think i want to do that though really happy to see the flamethrower Really happy to see it. Just like having something close range. It could be it could be that little thing that I was just saying, like we had our ticking timer on us. If we don't get one thing that helps us. It could be. It could genuinely be the thing that's quite like just good enough to solve it. Could well be. Okay. A lot of stuff is dying with crits because of all the bouncing shots, bouncing back to the back line, hitting the baby boys back there. Wave 10 is... Wave 10 is no joke. There was an enemy up there. I didn't even see him. They were behind my health bar, man. Okay. Oh, my God. Save me. Oh, some luck. Some huge luck there. Alright. I'm gonna go with the range. Absolutely. I'm gonna say absolutely. And then there's no point to do another reroll there. So enemies should be pretty darn slowed down by our flamethrower. I might be able to beat wave 11. Like, I... Uh, I can't tell. Uh... Eh... Uh, no, our single target... Our single target leaves a lot to be desired. We don't have the double damage, uh, or the double fire proc, which was really helping to stop these regenerating boys. And I am having a really tough time making it out of this corner. There we go. Found the pivot. Ouch. Pivot out. Okay. 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 I see some HP. I see a tree. No. 
Get up to the HP. Go. Pivot out. Good. Very good. Very good. I don't care about that. I should, what, I guess I, I don't care about that either, but hey. HP regen. I want something better. I'm disappointed. Gives us a 1% chance to heal for one, or we could go for the attack speed. I don't want to reroll again. I don't want to reroll. I can't reroll again. Ah! Nice. What's my range at? 45? I'll take it. Ooh! I know. I know. I know. I cringe when streamer not go for another epic lightning ship. However, I think we want one more lightning ship. I think we want one more lightning ship for the extra crit chance bonus there. I think that we have so uh, so much crit potential that having another item that can utilize it will probably be big for us. Like, the build that we have is kind of centered around magic, damage, and crits. And it's the only item that I can see in the game right now that benefits from both. So, in, uh, unless I'm wrong there, I think that having just another tool that has the instance of doing that damage while buffing up all the other ones, I think this is going to be the one, man. I think it's going to be the, uh, the choice, rather. I don't know if this is going to be the run or not. Got some good bouncing action happening. We're getting lots of uh, oh, lots of clear space for now, but that is going to change. It gets disgusting. Wave 12 gets disgusting near the end. It gets worse and worse over the course of time. I'm alive, though. That was scary. That was scary. What the hell? What is this? What is this? What is this? Every single time, man. What is this game? What are they? What is the? Why? At 20 seconds on wave 12, it just overflows you now. Oh my god. Okay, actually, let's go back. Uh, main menu. Wow. Okay, I mean, Taser does uh, benefit from crit as well. We just, but that wasn't an option. Man, that was some garbage. 20 seconds left on wave 12. It's just literally an entire screen of enemies now. Woof. Woof, woof, woof. Not a very fast weapon for kills. It's a little, it's a weird choice. We, we're tunneling a bit here in the hopes that we get something good later, basically. Because right now, we have the ability to kill one enemy very slowly every once in a while. I would love, you know, if we could get the uh, burn kills or attacks twice as fast, I think that'd be a good direction to go. But, like, we can't really make that happen. Oof. Oof. This is not a good start. Not a good start. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna say screw this one. Let's go ahead and just go simple. Let's go. Um, let's go torch. Much higher attack speed than the wand. That's why this is like, that's the trade off. The torch is the get off me tool for this build. I'd say like if you want to keep something thematically on brand for the character, the torch would be um, the get off me tool. Oof. Elemental damage. I'll take the one. Sure. Gentle alien. I just, I just don't know, man. Fine. Fine. Complains about all the enemies. Takes 10% damage. It, it shouldn't be an item in the game, then, if that's your, if that's the argument. You know? Like, We'll see. I, I think that it could, it could be good. I think that if you can make it work early, 
you will get so strong that you'll be fine. But we just need to make it work early. I would love a second weapon. <laughs> Hot take. <laughs> Absolutely. A lightning ship, yeah. A lightning ship will do it. I wouldn't mind a second torch, though. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out what the better plan is between fire and lightning shoe. Wonder what the better plan is. Oi oi oi. Oh, it's so spread out. Get the tree, get the tree, get the tree. Thank you. Thank you very much. Elemental damage, max HP, sure. Fine trade for me. I will take speed. I will take a reroll. I'll go with range. Burning spreads and charcoal for the uh, elemental damage, melee damage. I don't really care about the melee damage. I do kind of care about the minus two harvesting that apparently does apply. Hello, boys. All right. We want to try and line ourselves up Wow. well so that we can hit every single one there. fun thing is, yeah, we can kind of, like, go in towards a tree and then just hit it with the sh ship. Wow. Pain. 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 This is uh, a much worse start than some of the others so far. But that does not mean much. You can get very lucky in the middle game. Oh my god, that thread the needle. That thread of the needle. Bop him. Bop him. Bop him, bop him. Yeah, the EXP is coming out slow. Give me some damage. Give me some elemental damage. Give me another torch. Absolutely. Reroll. Another lightning shiv is great. I'll take the harvesting. And then we'll maybe we might just pick up the glasses as well next time. The harvesting will at least give us like a little bit more uh resources to do so. Second torch making world of difference. Making a world of difference. It helps, like, the, it does way more pushback, knockback than the dagger, right? Like, cool down. The da yeah, the dagger has zero knockback. That's a big part of why we're getting swarmed, you know? Oh my god, the spawn there. Excuse me. Looking grim though. Like, looking looking quite grim. This is it should not be this rough early. I think we've been falling behind in experience, so let's tunnel a little bit here. Risk our life for dollar bills. We don't need to go get that, it'll come to us. Dodge armor down, sure. Tax me absolutely. Well, tax me absolutely. Yes, yes. Those were there last time. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Uh, my luck is at zero, so I don't know what the hell is going on there. I will take an epic lightning shiv, though. Yes, please. Man, I. I think it'll probably make it too strong, but like I, I do wish that the lightning ship did elemental damage to the direct oh unit that it hit as well. I think it would make it way too strong though. It's interesting. The only direct damage elemental weapon is at least early on. Maybe there's an like a rare or something, an epic even. It's the taser. Not what, not what I would expect as the uh, the main direct damage dealer. I'm in so much pain, and we have no way to regen except for health drops. Okay. Good, 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 good. Very good. Sure. We can do better. 
Short, range up. Shiv. One bullet dealing one damage is fired. I mean, I, it's got to be scaling off of my uh, my range damage, right? Torch? Absolutely. HP regen is already... I mean, how many enemies am I going to kill with a critical hit? I have a 10% crit chance, three shivs. Wave seven, I, that, that one's sketchy. But we just got a huge range up. We're kind of nearing standstill kill territory, which is surprising. Doing some work, doing some work. We've been getting a little bit luckier with some of these, uh, some of the weapon drops right now. That's where we've been, uh, that's, like, <laughs> what am I doing differently on this run versus the other ones? I got a lot luckier. Uh, that's, that's what's happening. My weapon choices have just been better for me. I wouldn't mind a taser thrown into the mix here, but hey. Tis with tis with tis. Ah. Uh. Elemental short. Luck. More elements damage. Projectiles bounce to a random enemy. Minus 20% damage. I am deeply curious. I could sell something. I'm deeply curious. It's bad for the torch. God, it's just, it's, I think it's just bad overall. It only maybe helps us with the lightning. That might be worth it though. It might be worth it for the lightning bounce alone. It, it might. Again, assuming we live. And that's a big assumption. I do love that we can go tunnel vision the tree and the lightning will go bounce to hit somebody else. That's like a fun little gimmick. That's a YouTube top five tips for playing wizard in Brotato guide. Lightning top five lightning shiv tips for Brotato. Like, comment, go Ruby. Any one of those? All right. Melee damage super up, crit chance not worth it right now. I will I will happily take a 9 next speed. <sighs> God help me, do I ruin my run? Let's do it. I for science. And now I I will take crit chance since I care a little bit more about that. All right. I don't know if it even works. Does it work on the lightning bounce? I know it doesn't work on the weapon. Well, I mean, I, I assume it doesn't work on the weapon. It seems... I feel like I got stronger. I thought that that was... I, I'll, be, I'll be honest. I thought that that might ruin my run. And I would assume if it didn't apply to the lightning shiv, then this wave would be terrible. Right? Like, we would not... This would not be this clean. It would not be this clean. Interesting. Interesting. Imagine having HP regen. Sure. I'm going to skip that. I don't know. Taser. I'm going to say no to the range. This... Okay. Here's the thing. Material, sure. We're, we're going to do a decent amount of kill. I I don't know about this. Another lightning chip.
I don't know, man. I don't know. This is wave 10. This is where boys become men. And men become potatoes. Oh, boy. Oh, he, I thought he would have died in time. Imagine me thinking that we have direct damage on this build. The only thing that can do direct damage is the taser. But the taser is doing a little bit of ricochet action, I would, Im I would imagine, right? Taser is theoretically going to be valid on this run as well. Theoretically going to be quite valid. Oh, don't look at the don't look at the clock. Oop. Okay. No. Ooh, oh. I guess this applies to everything. Okay. the difference here wait why does the crit do 18 bounces three times fine I'll just get another one of these instead oh you lucky duck I'd rather. I'd rather. All right. Taser does seem to be bouncing. Good. We're killing things quick, pretty quick. We're killing things pretty quick in a, almost a direct fashion. The bounce ricochet is doing more work. It was, it was doing what I dreamed it would do, but didn't assume it would do. I'm... I'm floored. Do we make it past wave 11? Uh, I don't know. Not with dodges like that. That's for sure. Oh, my. Oh, my health. It's very sick. Uh, oh, there's an HP thing right there. I want it. Okay. Oh, no. No. What hit? I got hit by... I have no idea which thing hit me the second time. Must have been a bullet from the left. Because I, I got melee hit by that one guy. The big goofy guy. Boy. Boy, the game has turned brutal. Brotato, man. It is it is a rough one. Which is fine. I kind of... I, I like that it is... I like that it is rough. I really do think that uh, it's a good time. Boy, oh boy. Fingers crossed they don't release it and then they add just a bunch of meta progression that makes it so you can win the game without even thinking about it. That would make me cry. I, I, I desperately, my favorite thing about this game genuinely is that it is that it is tough and there is no meta progression. I like that. Like, a win will feel so good, especially in this new, it feels like the new update of Brotato, like did a lot of things to make the game a bit easier and smoother. But also, having more things in the pool makes it a little bit more RNG dependent on making a build work without increasing the amount of things in the shop. So, it is going to be a little bit tougher to make to make a cohesive build, which I think is all right. Like, I do hope that there is there comes a day where there is one more option in the shop. Uh, I think that that would benefit it greatly if there, we're going to be adding, like, 50, 50 items <laughs> in an update, you know? Have, going... Still only having the same amount of shop slots feels a little bit restrictive. I hope that that gets changed, but I don't really hope that... Other than that, I don't hope that um, the game gets easy. Like, I don't want it to be easy. There could be an easy mode, sure, or, or something, but I like that it is causing trouble. I like that it's causing trouble. I would love if there was one more shop slot uh, to go hand-in-hand -hand with all of the new things that have been added, because sometimes it feels a little bit tough. Uh, to get things that go for your build. And uh, and that's just about it. Other than that, though, let me know down below what build do you want to see me do? What do you think would make an interesting and fun video? Not what is just stupid hard, not what's funny, not what's this very complicated thing. What would be a fun, easy to explain video? Let me know. Comment down below. Let me know the class. Let me know the general vibe of what you want me to do with the weapons, things like that. 
uh, stats. If you want stats to focus on, things like that, let me know down below and uh, I'll see what I can do. We'll do ones that, like, I'm not saying I will just do always the ones that have the most likes, but I, I might. I will be more likely to, to go for those ones because I know that you guys are interested in watching that. So go down there, comment. If you don't have any ideas, go down there and like the ones that you think would make a good video. And while you're down there, also like the video. It helps out with the stupid old algorithm. It really does. Thank you for watching, though. Subscribe to the channel for more Brotato every single day doing your builds. As long as you guys continue to support the series with likes and comments. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.